Let's open our nodes module now. As you can see, all the actions, all the functions have already been coded for you. They are actually quite small and easy to understand. And here we are going to add our new function named create with one argument which is our structure and the first thing we are going to do is to get uh, from that structure the, the node information that's what I'm doing here so we are getting the value of the doc key and here again if we come back to our previous slide we are getting this piece of information which is a structure containing all the properties of a node text, position and the color. Since we want to uh, create a new record on the database we'll need a new ID that's what I'm doing here I'm actually asking for a new ID for a node and I'm using the sticky DB module which uh, is a module that I've created for this application in order to group all the functions related to Mnesia. We are now ready to uh, write to the database and using the sticky DB module again at this time with the write function which is accepting um, one argument or node record with two fields, the first one is the ID and the document. Okay, so before returning um, any value, uh, our client side will need that, that new piece of information, that new ID. So we need actually to convert to, um, sorry, to add this new information in our in initial structure. That's what I'm doing here, but this time using the set value of the struct module which is accepting three arguments. The first one is the, the key name, the value, and our structure. And since our client is waiting for an array of zero or more elements, I'll return a list with my new structure. Okay, so that's it for the create action. And before uh, compiling our code, I would like to briefly open these two files, the records one and the sticky DB module. Okay, let's start by opening um, this include, which contains uh, the record definition, the first one for the counter, and here is uh, our node structure a two element tuple. Okay, here is sticky db and we were using the new id function here so I'm using the dirty update counter to actually increment uh, the id and here is the write function and here I'm uh, creating an anonymous function with one operation, the write operation, and I'm using the transaction system from Nisia. So I invite you to uh, read the documentation, which is well done. A quick word about uh, the reset function here, which is actually, uh, it, it's a hard reset, and it's, it's creating the, the tables based on the record information here. So, here we are. It's time to compile our code and give a spin to our application. Here we need to, to call um, the stickydb reset function that we have seen previously to actually uh, create the database. We need to do it only once. Okay.
I'm going to open Firebug in order for you to see what happens behind the scene. Adding some a few notes here. All seems okay. So I, I intentionally developed the client application to in order to send as much as request as possible. There is no optimization. So each time I move, click, or lose focus a node, I'm actually asking for for a service, as you can see here. Okay, that's it. I hope that you enjoyed this video and happy coding! Bye everyone!